Hey y'all, so I got my nails done and they came out looking really nice. I like them. I was just getting tired tired of paying for um, a fill-in before my two weeks was up, but I got my nails removed. He did a manicure, he gave me a massage, hot oil, and he put some cuticle oil around my cuticles, and I am just loving the new look. And I know I said I was gonna get some press-ons on my last video, but I just have not been able to find any right now. Today, we have plans on going to Lowe's. We also are going to Phoenix Game, which I will record a little bit. I retwisted his hair this morning. I've already started meal prepping, so I have some rice over there in the rice cooker, and I'm gonna get some tofu and air fry that, some sweet potatoes, um, quinoa, I don't know. I'm going to meal prep for the week, and then I wanted to show y'all my bases that I got from Z Gallery. This is the large one, and this is the small one. I will link them both down below in the description box because I forgot how much I paid for them, but they were not both over 25 bucks. They were on sale at the time. I I believe this large one was $19.99 and I believe this small one was $15.99 but it did not come in a set they came individually when it shipped it came within like three to five days um when it arrived I was like unexpecting it to get here as soon as it did but it didn't come in a set so this one like I said was $19.99 $15.99 no scratches no breaks no chips no nothing and I got my roses from Sam's yesterday when I went to Sam's and they came in a set or a bundle of 18 and they were $15.99 and so usually when I go to Food Lion the bundles of roses come in a dozen for $15.99 or either $19.99, but Sam's always have like a membership discount on their roses and they have more. And so let me know what y'all think about my rose vases that I got from Z Gallery. And um, if you are decorating or thinking about doing anything in regards to Valentine's Day, because this month is February and Valentine's Day is on the 14th, which is a Wednesday. I also want to show y'all my purse that I just got that's Valentine's Day themed as well and then I am going to clean up the kitchen and get ready for a Phoenix game. On the front of it it says fashion made me do it so it's basically as you see it on this postcard so this is what came in the box it says fashion is a fantasy. I also received a free gift as a shirt in the size of a small and then this is the purse it came in the plastic take it out look how pretty this is perfect for Valentine's Day so if you have not purchased this purse yet from House of Rehab I will link it down below I have three different colors I have the red one the black and the silver and so I will link her website down below she is on TikTok and she is on Instagram and she, if you are looking for something to rock for Valentine's Day go ahead and get you a fashion make me do it in the color of red it's a new release and I think it is so pretty and I can also wear a size small in the shirt and so I really appreciate the free give but let me know what y'all think in the comments down below and if you will be making a purchase as well jump out of crib stack up my scene this year killing my ego this year off of the people this year only believe in the real i do believe in no fear and i got gang in this i never switch on the try i keep it all the way real i'm in control of my feel you see my highlights and study my real I'm showing more love this year, running more place, finna scale up my business this year. The world in my palm, I'm a star, delivering my cadence, I'm serving up chills to my peers. Bringing the bread for the fam, everything good on the side, everything coming together. New whip, no leash, no key in it, they heat it, California on the plates, I'm out here playing for keeping. I pull up, she leaking, she want me for the weekend, my foot on the gas where the brakes, hit me a love and you see me, flex, yes. I got my foot on their neck. I'm out with a squad to the death. Get to the checks. Flex. Yes. Got nothing to lose. It's on the fruit. Come from the trench. Cuban links on my neck. Tanking. Freeze. Smoking on dope. That diesel. Freeze. Run until I miss my season. Lay back. Geek. Smoking on dope. That diesel. Yup. Get gone off the deep end. Run until I miss my season. I keep a stack of them blessings, I'm ballin', I'm play callin'. It chain on me matching my smile, you know that I stay saucy. Wrist flooded, she drowning. We good on this side, everything coming together. New whip, no lease, no key in it, they heat it. California 
money on the plate. I'm out here playing for keeping. I pull up, she leaking. She want me for the weekend. My foot on the gas where the brakes. Hate me or love me, you see me. Flex, yes. I got my foot on the neck. I'm out with a squad to the death. Get to the checks. Flex, yes. Got nothing to lose, it's time to prove. Come from the trench. Cuban links on my neck, tanking. Freeze, smoking on dope that diesel. Freeze. Until I miss my season Lay back, geek Smoking on dope, that diesel Young get gone off the deep end Run until I miss my season Once we understand that it is through Our five senses that these imprints Are being made on our subconscious conscious, We can then consciously Begin to utilize our five our senses five this year. Jump out the crib, stack up my Ceno this year Killing my ego this year, all for the people this year Only believe in the real, I do believe in no fear And I got gang in this b- I never switch on the tribe I keep it all the way real, I'm in control of my feels You see my highlights, they study my real yeah. I'm showing more love this year Running more plays, finna scale up my business this year The world in my palm, I'm a star, I deliver my cadence I'm serving up chills to my peers Bringing the bread for the fam Everything good on the side Everything coming together New whip, no leash, no key in it, they heat it California on the plates, I'm out here playing for keeping I pull up, she leaking, she want me for the weekend My foot on the gas where the brakes, hate me or love me, you see me Flex, yes, I got my foot on the neck I'm out with a squad to the death, get to the checks Flex, yes, got nothing to lose, it's time to prove Come from the trench Cuban links on my neck, tanking, freeze, smoking on dope that diesel, freeze, running till I miss my season, laid back, geeky, smoking on dope that diesel, young get gone off the deep end, running till I miss my season. I keep a stack of them blessings, I'm balling, I'm play calling. It ain't on me matching my smile, you know that I stay saucy. I'm sorry. Wrist flooded, she drowning. We good on this side, everything coming together. New whip, no leash, no key in it. They heat it. California on the plates, I'm out here playing for keeping. I pull up, she leaking, she want me for the weekend. My foot on the gas where the brakes, hate me or love me, you see me. Flex, yes, I got my foot on the neck. I'm out with a squad to the death, get to the checks. Flex, yes, got nothing to lose, it's time to prove. In the trench, Cuban links on my neck, tanking, freeze, smoking on dope that diesel, freeze, running till I miss my season, laid back, geeky, smoking on dope that diesel, young get gone off the deep end, running till I miss my season. Once we understand that it is through our five senses that these imprints are being made on our subconscious minds, we can then consciously begin to utilize our five senses to imprint this year. Jump out the crib, stack up my Ceno this year, killing my ego this year, all for the people this year, only believe in the real, I do believe in no fear, and I got gang in this b- I never switch on the tribe, I keep it all the way real, I'm in control of my feels, you see my highlights, they study my real, yeah. I'm showing more love this year, running more plays, finna scale up my business this year, the world in my palm, I'm a star, I deliver my cadence, I'm serving up chills to my peers, bringing the bread for the fam. Everything good on this side, everything coming together. New whip, no leash, no key in it, they heat it. California on the plates, I'm out here playing for keeping. I pull up, she leaking, she want me for the weekend. My foot on the gas where the brakes, hate me or love me, you see me. Flex, yes, I got my foot on the neck. I'm out with a squad to the death, get to the checks. Flex, yes, got nothing to lose, it's time to prove. In the trench, Cuban links on my neck, tanking, freeze, smoking on dope that diesel, freeze, running till I miss my season, lay back, geek, smoking on dope that diesel, young get gone off the deep end, running till I miss my season. I keep a stack of them blessings, I'm balling, I'm play calling. It's ain't on me matching my smile, you know that I stay saucy. I'm sorry. Wrist flooded, she drowning. We good on this side, everything coming together. New whip, no leash, no key in it, they heat it. California on the plates, I'm out here playing for keeping. 
I pull up, she leaking. She want me for the weekend. My foot on the gas where the brakes. Hey, me, you love me, you see me. Flex, yes, I got my foot on their neck. I'm out with a squad to the death. Get to the checks. Flex, yes, got nothing to lose, it's on the fruit. Come from the trench. Cuban links on my neck, changing. Freeze, smoking on dope, that diesel. Freeze, running till I miss my season. Lay back, geeky, smoking on dope, that diesel. Young get gone off the deep end. Running till I miss my season. Once we understand that it is through our five senses that these imprints are being made on our subconscious minds, we can then consciously begin to utilize our five senses to imprint. I've tried to touch the stakes this time. 2021. Yeah, show him I can still rap though. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First I'm with the femur, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. I see the gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I'm family way out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. Ain't have a day off in like 80 days. Kids, if you gon' take a lazy day. Wifey, you want me to me take a break? I keep going to the pick straight. Then it's trips up to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I said it before, I'm a 101. I just count some ones, only wearing ones. Phone to kick the funds, money made me come. Diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock. Hey, what's up, y'all? So before we close out today's video slash vlog, I wanted to get on here and take the time to say thank you to everyone who left comments in my recent video on my TikTok and my Instagram. And if you are not following my TikTok, my TikTok is Amelia Danielle 3 and my Instagram is Amelia G5587. I basically uploaded a real slash TikTok saying how I have been shying away from talking about military content and I have been shying away or staying away from talking about military content um, or subjects or topics because sometimes people are not nice and I sometimes get um, I guess I would say overwhelmed or I start thinking too much about what other people say and how their opinions bother me. And so I made a TikTok and a reel and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who chimed in, who gave me positive feedback, who are still rocking and supporting with me. And so I just wanted to say thank you so much. I don't necessarily don't like talking about military content because I love it. I am here to help everybody especially like the lower enlisted soldiers and officers because you know you have brand new officers that are exos that are you know about to be commanders and it's just my opinion and if you don't like it i mean i don't know i feel like i am helping others because I love helping people so if you don't like what I'm saying or if you just don't say nothing at all all or you know I know some people be like well if you don't want nobody to comment on it then don't post it so with that being said I will just probably just ignore the comments because what I'm saying is based off of my opinion and I am basically helping someone else and what made me realize that is when I went through the gate and one of the soldiers were um, checking my ID he said hey like you look familiar chief I know you from somewhere um, I must have seen you on YouTube. You're a 92, you're a 920 Alpha slash you used to be a 92 Yankee. And I said, yeah, that's me. And he said, I really appreciate it. Like you have helped me so much tremendously. I even had
have soldiers um, DM me and contact me about how they improve their GT score. And so again, I know I'm rambling on at this point, but I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I do it for you all and I will continue doing it. I just have to figure out how to like take a step back or how to deal with some of the comments that may be negative because I don't mind the constructive criticism. Like that's not the thing. It's just when you have people saying, oh, you need to take that content down or, oh, you need to delete that video or, oh, this may hinder you from getting promoted. It's so political when you become an officer and when it is in reference to you may not get promoted because of social media that plays a big part in my family and my finances and I just don't want to take that chance and so again everything that I am saying is all based off of my opinion and I will make sure that um if someone is saying something that you know is geared towards hatred or being negative or whatever I'll just ignore it so We'll go ahead and finish the rest of this vlog. I wanted to show you all a pair of Lorde shades that I got, a pair of shades that I got from Amazon, and like three pair of shades that I got from Shein in reference to Valentine's Day. I know Valentine's Day is Wednesday and this video is getting uploaded a little late because that's in literally three days. But if you shop with Amazon, you already know you can get next day shipping and you'll have it here for Wednesday. And Lorde shipping is really, really fast as well. Well, I ordered my shades like on a Friday and I got them like on Tuesday and then she in I ordered multiple things to include those shades and it took about five days and everything came all in one packaged when I ordered it from she in and what I mean is that even though I ordered shades I ordered like some shirts and stuff like that and it all came together and it only took about five days I also want to show you all my new purse which I show, showed you all earlier but I feel like the lighting is better because I have my ring light on and I want to show y'all how that look from house of rehab and then on the back end the very last part of this video will be to talk about pre change of command and how pre change of command can help you when you go through change of command so if you are interested in watching the very end of this video then make sure you stay tuned and I will leave chapters just in case you don't want to watch certain things and you can just skip through it but please make sure you give this video a like and if you are not already subscribed subscribe to this channel also I was able to take my two strand twist out yesterday we went to Phoenix game and we also went to Charlotte to look at a sprinter van because my husband is interested in getting a sprinter or either an RV and so and I decided to tie my hair up or my locks up with a silk headband instead of the cotton one and my hair just gets frizzy once I take the two the two strands out and I just try to you know keep the frizziness and the flyaways maintained and so y'all always see me with a do-rag on or y'all always see me with a scarf on but today I have on a satin slash silk headband and I'm gonna just do a quick 360 and then jump into the shades and the purse and then talking about three uh pre-change of command I want to show y'all my two strand twists and how they came out and so I'll go ahead and do a quick spin for you all Now this is off topic, but I also have been getting asked questions about my traction alopecia and if the army covers it and if I have noticed any changes or a difference and if it is a percentage as far as like disability when you get out, but I will save that for another video. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the Lorde shades first. Okay, so this is the packaging. When you open the box, it has Lorde on the front and then it says fashionably shading you. You also have a thank you postcard and it says thank you for your support to 
our Lord Bay Bay. We are honored to have you as a valued customer. Lord Bay was created to fashionably shade you. We carefully select and design our sunglasses with attention to detail, ensuring they meet the highest standards of quality and durability. Let Lord Bay help you express your creativity, individuality, and confidence, sincerity, the Lord Bay team. And if y'all don't know who Lord Bay is, Lord Bay is um, a brand owned by the era. I have two, pa two pair of shades, so this is my second pair. I also have a blue pair because blue is my favorite color. But this is the, the box that the shades came in. And with inside the box, you have the sunglass box or case. You have the shade holder. Well, I guess the case is the holder, but then you have the shades on the inside. And she also has a shade wipe is the shades they are called sneaky link they have sneaky link on the inside this is what the shades look like i am feeling them they are cute they are pink shipping was really quick again i got these within like five days they were on sale i believe the original price is 80 and i got them for 56 so there was a discount on instagram if you order the shades from off of instagram and you um there's already a discount code applied and so it went down from 56 to 38 but by the time i paid for shipping and taxes i paid for like a total of 56 and i am loving the color again valentine's day theme or if pink is your favorite color why not purchase them and so this is the Lord Bay pair I will move on next to the Amazon pair the Amazon pair came with a, a shade case as well and also have the shade cleaner and on the inside of the shades nothing on the outside of the shades they have a red tint to them and so everything looks red. So I'm in my bathroom with the ring light and the ring light is red. And so I'm pretty sure if you go outside, this is gonna be a red tint if you go outside. But these are really nice as well. They practically cover all of my face. Um, the shipping was fast. I got these from Amazon, next day shipping. And these shades were either $14.99 or $15.99. But y'all tell me what y'all think. I will link the shades as I am showing them to you in order if you are thinking about purchasing the same items that I did. All right, so next we are gonna move on to the Shein shades. Um, no special packaging. It basically came in like a clear plastic case like this. They didn't come with um, an eyeglass or shade cleaner and they all came together. And so I'm going to start off with the first pair. The first pair is like a light pink. Nothing on the inside, nothing on the outside, and the lens are pink, but it is not making everything that I'm looking at look pink. It's just the lens are pink, but everything looks clear if that makes sense. So y'all tell me what y'all think about these. This is the third pair and they came from Shein and it took about five business days for shipping and I believe these shades were $5.99. Don't give me the lion. I don't know off the top of my head. I ordered these shades like maybe two weeks ago and I wanted to show you all because it's Valentine's Day. And so I will link, like I said, all of the prices and descriptions down below if you are interested. The next pair that I will show y'all from Shein is kind of like a pair of glasses because they are clear on the side, but then you have the pink tint on the front. And so if you're up looking for like eyewear slash glasses vibe these are clear on the outside and they have a pink tint when you look at everything it's not a pink tint it's just the 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 lens are pink so y'all tell me what y'all think about these this is the ooh, one two fourth pair and i will link the price on the screen or i will link it down below because again i cannot remember how much i paid for these but all of the the shades that i got from Shein were less than 10 bucks And last but not least, this pair is a little on the dark side. They don't have anything on the outside or the inside. The lens is like a pink tint as well, but when you are looking out and about, everything still looks clear. I'm not sure what the price is, which I said before for the other two pair, but I will show y'all on the screen. 
So y'all tell me out of which pair did y'all like the most and which pair will y'all be purchasing? Um, comment down below and let me know which pair y'all like the most. I love the Lord Bay shades. That's my second pair. Again, I have the blue pair um, and the durability of those shades and the quality and the shipping is really fast as well. So even though Lord Bay is like a big brand, the shipping for the shades and the packaging and all of that are, I would say A1, I would give them five stars. But these are from Shein and I, I honestly like all of the shades that I decided to choose and if you are not sure which ones to get, then you can see how they look on me and then purchase the same shades as well. Okay, so that was all of the shades and next I'm going to show you this purse called Fashion Made Me Do It from House of Rehab. This purse was a new release purse on her website called House of Rehab. So I got an email notification because I signed up for the text notification or the alerts or the email alerts. And so when this purse dropped, I was able to get it. Um, I guess I would say before everyone else because I had the early... Um, the early uh, notification. And so this purse I believe was 70 and the micro purses are 55. Um, this purse was not on sale, um, again, because it was a new release, but this is the color. It's like a plastic coat. It is red. The sides, um, this is the bag and the strap is gold. Now I have two other purses from House of Rehab. I have a black one and I have a silver one. And so I'll show y'all what those look like really quick because I'm not sure. I know I posted a picture on my Instagram of the black one, but I have not showed y'all or posted a picture of the silver one. And so I'll go ahead and show y'all that one really quick. Really quick, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Again, I got this for Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day is on Wednesday and I'm pretty sure we have some things planned for the weekend. And so I can switch up my shades and switch up my purse if I decide to for Valentine's Day and the entire month of February. So let me go get the black and the silver purses and show y'all what those look like as well. Okay, so this is the black one. It's leather material. This is the bag. I took this purse with me to Chicago and I had on some black J's. And so it went together really well. If you follow me on Instagram at amilg5587, you will see that I posted this purse with the outfit and the jeans that I wore. I got my jeans from Fashion Nova and of course I got my J's from the mall. And I have not worn or carried this purse yet, but it is silver and it just says fashion make me do it on the front. This is the side, this is the bag, and then here is the strap, which is gold. And the strap on this one is like a black silver and the strap on this one is gold as well. And so she is a black, business owner and so I love to support and then T Ray she um has me find these purses as well because of the way that she styles them and so if y'all are looking for inspo for house of rehab fashion make me do the purses I will link her Instagram down below and link the link to this purse if you are interested in purchasing and purchasing this purse which was a newly released and so y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments below and if you will be purchasing one of these purses and how you plan on styling it. Okay, before we end this video, I want to talk about pre-change of command and how pre-change of command can help you before going into change of command and how you need to go ahead and prep yourself. So if you are a 92 Yankee or if you are not a 92 Yankee, but you are holding the slot or the position of being a 92 Yankee, or if you are assisting a supply sergeant or a clerk with um, upcoming pre-change of commands, these are the things that I advise that you do. And so if you have access to G Army, which is key, then go look in your IWBK to pull your shortages to see what is in G Army based off of previous change of commands. And then also go to your Z Pro set, type in your class 2 S look and your class 9 S look just to see what document numbers you have to go with those shortages under your IWBK. And if you do not have a lot of document numbers, then that means you need to delete all of your previous shortages and just start from scratch. So for example, if you go under your IWBK and you type in your UIC in your main word center and you select execute, all of your shortages will come up. 
And if you have shortages from 2019, 20, 21, 22, my recommendation is to delete them. Now, I know everyone has been asking if there is a way you can mass delete and you cannot. You have to delete every shortage one by one. Also, a recommendation is when you are inputting your shortages to identify or label your shortage based off of the S log and to identify the serial number. Sometimes the information is too long and you won't be able to, but as long as you know what S log, um, bumper number, admin number, however you want to label it, um, and the serial number can fit when you are creating those shortages, then that will help you as well. But when you are talking to like an EXO or a commander and they are asking you about shortages and have they been placed on order, don't tell them yes, because the only thing that have been placed on order is those class two and class nine shortages that you have valid document numbers for in Z Pro Stat. And so if you go to your Z Pro Stat and you type in your class two or class nine S log and all you see in there is like maybe 10 to 15 items per class of supply, like trash bags, batteries, um, whatever it is that may be class two or class nine, you already know that those are not shortages that you ordered from your previous change of command. Um, and especially if you don't have valid document numbers, then you already know that those shortages have not been placed on order. And so for your pre-change of command, what you need to start doing is printing all of your bombs in alphabetical order, printing all your TMs to go with those bombs, printing all of your skulls, um, getting whatever um, MFRs you may have to do, get with the PBO and ask the PBO like, hey, sir or ma'am, what memos or MFRs are due during the change of command so I can kind of already have them prepped and pre-saved for when my incoming commander comes, all they have to do is sign. And then with printing your bombs, um, your TMs and your skulls, if there is a non-standard item like a laptop or a printer, you can make a bomb for that by going to Z Adlin. And I know a lot of soldiers have been asking me to send them the guide on how to do that by um, creating a bomb for non-standard items, then I will. I'm trying to figure out if I can link it down below, but if not, I'll just send it to you individually, which I have been doing already. And within that guide, it'll show you how to create a bomb. It'll show you how to pull your shortages. It'll tell you how to um, create material slips. And material slips are your shortage. And so maybe three, four years ago, we were utilizing 2062 to validate shortages for class two and class nine and class seven. But now in G Army, um, you can create your PB01 work order and that will create a material slip and a maintenance work order, either a 5988 or 2404 to verify those class two and class nine shortages. Now, once you label it based off of the S log and the serial number and you print it, um, you have that commander sign an initial to validate that those are shortages. And if you have a non-expendable, then make sure you give that non-expendable material slip to the PBO and the PBO will place it on order after a flipple has been initiated and the PBO has given it a document number. And so to prep for change of command, like I said, you'll go in there and see what shortages have been built already. You will delete all your old shortages um, and basically start from scratch based off of like your last change of command if you was able to keep up with it and fill those shortages. Um, and then if not, you will have to delete them one by one, but you should not have shortages from 2019, 2020, 2021. Okay. Um, 2022, you should have anything that's like 2023 or 2024. So, um, you, like I said, will print your bombs, you'll print your TMs. Make sure you get a binder and put every bomb, TM, and skull in alphabetical order, whether you create one bit binder, whether you create multiple binders, whether you have it broken down by sub hammer seat, or however you wanna do it. And then keep in mind that in October of 22, there is no need to retain hard copies of documents. Now, quite naturally, when a commander is doing an inventory, you need to have everything printed for them to utilize, but scan those documents 
in a folder to your computer, save it on Teams, label them in alphabetical order because a lot of paper and hard copy things do not need to be retained. Um, it's just you need to have access to it or your your um, 92 Yankee that's replacing you need to have access to it. And so when you get ready to do your pre-change, you can identify what items need to be placed on order, what items um, that did not get placed on order in time before you start a change command. You can go ahead and initiate a flipple. You can go ahead and start giving people statement of charges. That's your first support and document, a statement of charges. Of course, if a soldier member refused to sign, then it will begin it will turn into a flipple and you will add that statement of charges to the flipple as support and documents you will also add your skull or your bombs to the flipple as support and documents and basically exhibits and so the outgoing commander will be able to sign that dd200 before the incoming commander um go ahead and assumes responsibility also the Incoming commander should not be the one that is signing the DD-200. It should be the outgoing commander. But if you wait and, you know, you forget to do the flipple and they already relinquish command and the outgoing commander is gone. Now, the outgoing commander may still be on the installation or they might be within another battalion within the organization, but they are not obligated to sign that DD-200 once that incoming commander um, assumes command. Also, in regards to pre-change, make sure that your guide on is on your property book. If you do not have a guide on, get with the PBO or you can order a guide on yourself. But if you do order it, please make sure that you give that documentation to the PBO so the PBO can make sure that they are tracking and aware that you ordered a guide on for your company and then do either an AAR or an FOY to bring that guide on to record and to your property book um, but for the most part when you are doing pre-change command you just need to make sure you have all of your documents together you need to go ahead and start briefing the sub parent seat holders making sure that everything gets laid out make sure that if there is a sub parent seat holder that is going tdy to a school for over 30 days that they are tracking make sure that they have their stuff signed down to someone else in the event that they are gone to a school during pre-change or during change of command you won't have that issue um Keep in mind that you are able to give someone a statement of charges if they are at school or if they went forward on a deployment or whatever the case may be. But to help facilitate with change of command inventories, go ahead and prep everything for a pre-change. Don't wait. You already know that the heresy has to be inventoried um, to its entirety. The PBO should be giving you a 100% command directed hammer seat to review. They should also be giving you a primary hammer seat. You also have to sign an SI hammer seat as well. And per the regulation, SI, when you are conducting an SI, you must inventory components and BII because you never know what may be a non-expendable item or a sensitive item when it pertains to inventory your sensitive items. And so I feel like that was like the basis or that was something to help jumpstart you on getting ready for your pre-change of command. And then also based off of your pre-change of command, you should already be ordering your shortages um, when you are doing and conducting your 10% cycle inventories. Now, I'm not going to touch or cover or talk about the new AR 710-4 just yet but maybe one day later on down the line once I read more into it things are changing so just be prepared for that but that was pretty much it I hope y'all enjoyed today's video make sure y'all give this video a like and again thank you so much for rocking with me y'all y'all do not know how much this means by y'all supporting me y'all make me want to continue talking about military content and I just want to let y'all know that I love y'all so much until next time this is Amelia peace